What makes you think that Barcelona could be a good place for steadily teaching um, your method? Um, well, I, I know that it is now. So I thought that it was at one point, but now that now I know, sure. now I'm sure. Um, and that's because I've been here eight or nine times now, and um, I can feel that the energy of the acting community and the theater community in Barcelona is very interested in this work. I have relationships with many actors and artists here. Um, and I think that, um, I know this sounds like I'm making this up, but I'm not. And the truth is, I am in love with Catalan actors. Really? What? I am in love Why with Catalan it? actors because um, they are, they're, they're more in their bodies, they think more poetically, and they are, they under, I, I think they, they are open to the idea that acting takes hard work and it's not just, hmm. you know, am I pretty or am I not pretty? Because all the Catalans are pretty, so, you know, that's, yeah, we're, that's we're, a given. We're, so, yeah. um, uh, and I, I, I also think that in, I think that here there is a tradition, yeah. a very physical, very visual, very expressive theater. There's also a tradition of very literary theater. Mm -hmm. And I feel that there's a huge divide that often in the literary theater, suddenly the bodies are not alive. And it's a lot about this. And so I think that there's a lot of actors who are seeing that with a certain kind of training, literary theater could be much more alive and visceral and emotional and, and beautiful because I love literature. I'm not about being anti-literature. What I'm against is um, theater just being a dramatic reading of a play that you could stay at home and you know drink a glass of wine and read the play. Like I want people to have to come to the theater because they're experiencing something that they cannot experience when they just read the literature. Like, could you make some differences between uh, American and Catalan actors? Well, I think uh, because the commercial industry in America is so much more prevalent, um, actors are often, you know, thinking more about marketing themselves for um, commercial theater. And so, and also because universities are so expensive in the United States. I believe that there's a lot of social pressure on young actors. So a family will help support a young actor to go to college. And it's a huge investment. And so the expectation is, well, you're going to graduate and you're going to get a job on a television show or you're going to be a movie actor and you're going to make lots of money. So there's a pressure. And um, universities in the United States are very different than, say, the Institut de Théâtre here. An acting student in a, in a university gen generally has a couple of hours of acting classes a week, and that's it. And so to think that you could go to college for just four years and have a couple of acting classes and graduate and be an actor, a professional actor, is absurd. But in America, that's the system. And there isn't um, this idea of, of uh, ongoing education. And I think here, there's much more respect for craft.